Afraid of sharks? Well, if you are, there's a new report that found the number of shark attacks worldwide has actually plummeted in 2018. Despite the news, Florida still ranks as the shark attack capital of the world. And as News Channel's John Rogers shows us, scientists are trying to figure out what's causing this trend. Good evening. While this can be seen as great news for beachgoers, it's potentially troubling news for sharks. Venice bills itself as the shark tooth capital of the world, and that attracts fishermen from all over. It's the biggest fish in the sea and one of the hardest to fight. Nate and his buddy Carson are safely perched on this pier. No risk of getting bit here. <laughs> We've heard stories about guys who swim out uh, shark bait and drop it a couple hundred yards off the pier, which we think is kind of crazy. The University of Florida International Shark Attack file has reported 66 shark attacks worldwide in 2018. That's a steep drop from 88 that were reported in 2017. Researcher Gavin Naylor says that steep drop is attributed to the southeastern United States. Naylor says there were fewer black tip sharks spotted in the Gulf. These animals are pretty hardy and when, you know, they see weather changes or climate changes or changes in the food supply, they go elsewhere. Naylor says it's possible red tide could have played a role too. If those fishes are not spawning, then the, the sharks that prey on them might also not therefore aggregate in such high numbers. Naylor says fewer sharks could signal an unhealthy ocean, but more research is needed. He also believes people are becoming more safety conscious at the beach. Meanwhile, Nate and Carson aren't phased by these creatures. It's nothing I'm personally concerned about. Uh, I don't think the shark bites are too common at all. We'll have a link to the latest shark attack numbers on our website, WFLA.com. Just click on the story. In Venice, John Rogers, News Channel 8.